Hello, we are Keshav Narasimhan and Samuel Rowe, two students in CPSG 101. And today we will be discussing the freshwater availability in Iraq and how it has been impacted by climate change. It is first important to establish what the problem is. So freshwater availability in Iraq was around 30 billion cubic meters in 1933 and it is now just 9.5 billion in 2023. This is bad because Iraq's population is at, in that time has skyrocketed. According to the United Nations Development Program, in 2030, only 479 cubic meters will be available for Iraqi citizen. This is woefully inadequate to sustain Iraq's population and this would lead to catastrophe. We will highlight some of these problems in the upcoming slides. Uh, due to the amount of temperature increase due to climate change, there's been a big increase of evapotranspiration, which means that most water sources have had a decrease of water staying in them over the years. This means that there's an increased demand for the amount of crop water especially, but the amount of supply just keeps going down and will continue to do so unless something changes. Iraq's water system is heavily def defined by the Tigris and Euphrates, which are the two rivers that have long been the bedrock for Iraqi society. Long-term river flow for the Euphrates in 1970 was 30 billion cubic meters, and it was 21.2 billion for the Tigris. However, since the 70s, there have been hydrological projects such as dams and increased temperatures due to climate change, which have exacerbated this issue. Current river flows stand at 4.4 and 16 billion cubic meters for the Euphrates and Tigris respectively, which is not enough to sustain Iraq's growing population. Now, the amount of water required for uh, summer crops, winter crops, and trees is a lot of water over even a single year. And since agriculture consumes about 80% of the water import, it means that Agriculture is going to be suffering especially hard due to the decrease of water supply, which means that the growing population of Iraq will not be able to get enough food, which is a huge problem for their society. In addition to the lack of water in the Tigris and Euphrates, climate change is leading to lack of rainfall and increased pollution of the water that Iraq has. Rainfall scarcity has been caused by high temperatures and it is leading to droughts, which further strain the Tigris and Euphrates. Unequal water sharing agreements with Turkey and Iran also hurt Iraq supply and agricultural wastewater discharge is leading to the deterioration of water quality and the water is facing increased salinity. All these changes will lead to various problems for Iraq, such as desertification, inability to fight dust storms, lack of sustaining crops, and put all together, this will lead to society's deterioration in Iraq. Okay, humans are already experiencing a big problem due to the lack of water resources. About three out of five children in Iraq do not have access to safe and healthy water, and about uh, one half of the schools also don't have access to that. This means that basically all of these kids will be struggling with their health, nutrition, and that development. Now, and about 200 million children will and their families will lack significant water by 2030 by this rate, unless something changes really quickly. Now, children especially, they need all the resources they can get. So this is an incredibly bad problem. In addition to affecting humans, these water problems for Iraq will affect wildlife. Take Koral Zubair in southern Iraq, which has been affected by climate change due to and reduced flows in the Tigris and the Euphrates. Since 2017, 80 there has been an 80% reduction in species richness. That is catastrophic biodiversity loss, and it is being seen all over Iraq in a short period of time. Wow. Climate change is hurting not just humans, but also animals. Okay, in conclusion, climate change has caused a ton of problems for Iraq, and the mostly fresh water, uh, the lack of fresh water, the increase in droughts, 
the increase of water salinity, the decrease in rainfall, and the increase of pollution. And all of these things getting worse while Iraq's population is getting bigger, not just harms Iraq's human population, but harms all of their plants and animals along with it. So here are some of the sources that we have compiled for this project. And we hope that you have learned something from it. And we hope you've enjoyed our presentation. Thank you.